What's up, YouTube? It's Cyan. Uh, you know how it is. Acid Roots is gonna review uh, Ludacris, and you know Ludacris will make you laugh. So, what's up, YouTube? A good intro from Cyan, and uh, I'm gonna talk about the skits on Ludacris's "Back for the First Time" album. Now, I think Ludacris has actually done a handful of skits on some of his albums. I just haven't paid attention to them that much. And I wanted to finally start doing that. I mean, I've done Eminem, and I think I did, like, one other person. Maybe it was Cut Calhoun or somebody. No, it was actually Broken Side. But I do like when musicians do skits. It's not as common as it used to be. But back for the first time, is about 20 years old, so I wanted to kind of do that one. Plus, it gives me an excuse to talk about Ludacris more, which I like to do. <clears throat> Main thing is, is these skits, there's three of them. There's three of them, and the first one is Come On Over, which is basically Ludacris and one of his dogs, uh... And by dogs, I mean homies. One of his dogs giving these chicks some ad, some directions to their home, which happens to be a mansion. So, I mean, it's, it's typical, you know. I mean, I like the idea behind that. I mean, the thing about, if you, maybe some folks forget about Ludacris, is the fact that he was actually rich before putting out that album. Some people, when they put out their first album, like Eminem, I mean, Eminem wasn't exactly a millionaire. He had the budget from his label, but I don't think he was rich until after the Slim Shady LP. But Ludacris, you know, talk, him saying, you know, you're going to get off of this mansion and that sort of thing. And just, you know, was under the impression that, you know, he might have been doing it. But he was a DJ before that, so that's interesting. Huh. And you just get instruction of, like, yeah... Here's directions to the pad, you know. And so it's kind of slick to do that. It's, you know, it's one of those things. The next one is the Ho skit, which is the interlude or the prelude to uh, the Ho song, which was actually, you know, that's a decently popular song even now by Ludacris, but it, it basically just has what some stuff that's on Ludacris's answering machine. The first message was kind of weird. It's someone singing... Some guy singing lyrics to a Biggie song, and then some uh, ho, you know, on the song, just talking about, you know, oh, she'll swallow, just call me back, so that sort of thing. So that, that was a funny one. And uh, then there's a ticket sold out, which is the only real skit out of the three that I didn't enjoy that much. I think it was just kind of promotion for that sort of thing. It's like ludicrous, you know, he's on a PlayStation game, his shows are sold out, he, you know, he's put out some songs like Fat Rabbit. I mean, it, it kind of almost felt like some sort of theme to it, like, you know, some sort of circus theme, kind of being like a ringleader. I mean, I don't know how, how I got that too much from that vibe, but I just would have to say, I don't know, it, it, it just felt kind of extraneous and kind of compromised but it, it's, it's an okay skit it just isn't a standout so but yeah two of them were funny i mean they worked i just i would have liked for something maybe ludicrous to have actually done one a little bit better just being like you know you know because i've seen in his album booklet you know he used to smoke black and miles and that sort of thing like i'm just gonna roll a blunt and listen to you know <laughs> Listen to Nate Dog or something, some shit like that. I don't know, but I don't know. This the thing about it is, is back for the first time is kind of a good introduction to Ludacris. But it, I mean, obviously, I think everyone at that time was kind of like, okay, we want to see him not as gully and not as uh, you know rough around the edges, and we want to see him more refined. So I think he actually had skits on word of mouth too. So that's kind of the situation, just trying to see the ones that were on that. But, I mean, everyone says Ludacris can be funny, and I agree with that. But, you know, I mean, obviously you can't just put out a skit album. You'd have to kind of balance it. But, you know, two out of three, I just would have to say, you know, I'll give it like a seven just because they were funny. And, they're, you know, was, you know, I think they were probably better than the ones Eminem did. I mean, Eminem was just crazy, but these were kind of funnier and just more low-key kind of stuff, which kind of fits with my channel some. So yeah, that's what it is.